the at the races champagne stakes is next and incredibly there is a field of just three for this two-year-old group two and one or two people may have missed a bit of a trick here because this looks like a good opportunity to pick up some good prize money wind at your heels Derek Hinton mile high Daniel French and ollie 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 for Padre Gogan are not necessarily three horses you would expect to be competing a group two on their own but there you go the big guns are all somewhere else they're away and racing and mile high is the first one to show I think maybe one or two people had to do their entries a bit early this week or something I know I had to do mine very early and didn't have time to do that last minute shuffling around that you can do when you see a, an easy option I'm pretty sure I would have been able to slip one in this race if I'd have seen it but when I had to do mine there were only about two other entries in each race because I was going to be busy all day Friday and I know I wasn't going to get anywhere near a computer before five o'clock so anyway that's probably what's happened and it's mile high in the lead from Windy Hill second Ollie 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 third and into the final four furlongs and mile high is two lengths clear of Windy Hill second Ollie 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 back in third now we pulled out to come through for a challenge there might only be three in it, but it's still wide open. It's not clear what's going to win yet, but I would say it might have been there. Mile High is now kicked on. With two to go. Uh, Daniel French is probably one of the best season of these three trainers, so that's the one you money probably would have been on before. And they're coming into the final furlong. And Mile High is in the lead. And Windy Hill second. Oli 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 back in third. The jockey on the leader seems pretty confident, and he's got to take it quite easily. Mile High wins it, going to be close for second in the end, wind at your heels, Oli Oli Oli. So there you go then, the Champagne Stakes Group 2, a win for Mile High and Daniel French. In second place, wind at your heels for Derek Hinton, and third, Oli 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 for Padraig Hogan. Picked up a nice easy 10 grand there, Padraig Hogan will come in last.